Time now for sports with Scott Breen. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Four size basketball girls should be among your best in Class B this season. Q2's Athlete of the Week is literally a big reason why. Our Alec Boffinger has her story. The Forsyth girls lost out on Saturday morning at last year's State B tournament, and that's what's been driving the Dogies all offseason, particularly junior Lindsey Hine. The 6'6 Hine is an imposing shot blocker and can score in the low post, but it's what she added to her game while playing AAU in the summer that has made her even more lethal. I think that I worked on mostly the physicality and becoming stronger and then also just running the floor because AU is really fast tempoed so I think I just tried to like run the floor and be more physical and also be able to step out and hit an outside shot because I used to only just be able to score in the post and I've really been working on that outside shot. They find ways to, to make it hard for it and we have to adjust and, and it's not always easy having somebody that tall because there's, a, there's always different plans on the floor. I mean if her percentage is bad you know, that, that costs you. I mean, it's, it's the work she does, you know, in the offseason that is paying off where she's at right now. Another improved facet of Hines game, passing. She is operating more out of the high post early this year, which has opened up things for the entire Forsyth offense. According to Pinkerton, Hines' leadership qualities have taken a step up too. Being more vocal, you know, she's becoming a team captain. As a, as a junior this year, um, that's what we we're really looking for the most. You know, she's a very coachable person. Yeah, and she's 6'6", so she can, she can bring a lot more to the floor. But, but what we're really looking for is that, uh, you know, being a commander, you know, just being vocal on the floor and talking to everybody. I think we talk about it a lot in practice, just like if we get to the, the ball to the middle, they're going to collapse and we're going to have open shots. And if we make our shots, then we're most likely going to win. So I think that we work on that a lot, and I just think that it opens it up a lot. Expectations are sky high around Forsyth this season, and for good reason. The Dogies bring back four seniors that played substantial minutes last year, as well as the return of Reese Peterson from a torn ACL. Our expectations this year is to go out and have fun, and if we don't approach it that way, you know, it becomes too serious, it becomes a job, and we just want to go out and have fun. We're not expecting to be undefeated this year. We're, we're just wanting to, you know, play ball and see how far we make it. Alec Boffinger, MTN Sports.